greetings and greetings and greetings upon greetings to you. We Amen. are now in God's holy temple. And Amen. we just thank God that you are here with us this day to give him all glory, honor, and praise. We are definitely keeping Sister Diana Herring and Deacon Joseph Herring and the entire, uh, their entire family lifted in prayer as yet another loss in that side of our family. And so we just know that God, he is able, he is well able to continue to hold our hearts in his hand, that he, you know, we always say yeah. he doesn't make a mistake. And God's timing is perfect in everything. We, we might not understand it. We may not um, come to grips with it mm -hmm. right in the moment. But over time, God, he will reveal himself to us. And as he reveals Amen. himself to us, then we won't have our heads hung down. We will look up and say, Abba, Father, hallelujah, knowing that he is the great I am. He is truly our Amen. Father. And as our Father, yeah. he loves us. And he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And so as we Amen. know that there are um, people who were major people today who passed away, major meaning that they had major names like a prince or they had iconic names like um, someone in the rap industry. But God, he knows all of us. Each and every person is important to God. Each and every Amen. person is a VIP to God. And so Amen. whether we know their names or not, God knows our name. He knows every yeah, right. hair on our head. And so all we have to do is worship him. Mm. Amen. Worship him. And so Amen. right now we enter into worship. Mm. We yeah. enter into worship because yeah. he is worthy. Enter yeah. into his gates with thanksgiving yeah. and into yeah. his courts with praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Will Hallelujah. somebody yeah. lift up his holy name with me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank thank you, Lord. We love Hallelujah. you, Lord. We thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, love you, Lord. Everything that have breath, praise ye the Lord. Thank praise you. ye the Lord. Thank Hallelujah. You, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you. So Hallelujah. as we will um, skip over our opening song today, well, actually, you know what? Let's sing together. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Amen. And so Amen. the little light of ours, hallelujah, in this Amen. dark and evil world, that light Amen. is Jesus Christ. And so Amen. let it shine everywhere. Yeah. Let him right. shine everywhere you go. Right. There's somebody yeah. in distress today, somebody who, who is on their very last day, mm. and they don't even realize it. There's yeah. somebody that is in a critical condition a mm. sin sick condition and they yeah. need to see the light of jesus and they That's see it. him hallelujah in mm. us so today every day of your life no mm. matter how many days you have mm. let your light so shine yeah that men will see your good works mm. and glorify our father who is Amen. in heaven hallelujah right. hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. At this time, we'll ask uh, Minister Christopher Herring if he will lead us in prayer. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight thanking you for this evening of fellowship, of Amen. worship and praise. Mm -hmm. Father, while our hearts are saddened and we know, Father, that we depend upon you and you are our creator and yeah. you knew of what was to come before we even recognized it ourselves. But Lord, we depend upon you and we ask Father God in the name of Jesus that you would bless Reverend Dr. Shari as she preaches this word tonight, Father, that she may be able to divide it into 
relay exactly what saith the Lord. Yes. So that may, yes. It may edify um, our souls mm -hmm. and speak to our hearts. Yes. We ask that you give her this covering and yes. give her the strength. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you Amen. for that beautiful prayer. And I need strength Amen. today. Thank you Amen. so much. Amen. I give glory to God for this honor mm. to stand behind his holy desk and preach Amen. his holy word. I Amen. just thank him for this opportunity. And I don't take it lightly. I thank him and I give honor to God for my pastor and our co-pastor, Reverend Dr. Zebedee C. Herring, who is with us Amen. tonight to uh, Minister Chris, to Deacon Joseph, to Deaconess um, Diana, and Amen. to um, Amen. to Jack, Amen. and to all, all who are in worship tonight Amen. or today, whenever it is that you're listening to this, we praise Amen. and thank God for you. We thank Amen. God that he has pointed you in this direction. And as yes. we say at Inspiration Church, you are at the right place. And so we thank God for your faithfulness and your obedience to Amen. his word. So without further ado, we're going to get right into his word. And Amen. if you will, turn to Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. Amen. Amen. And while you're grabbing that, I'm going to grab just a sip of water. <laughs> Amen. 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 All right. Glory to God. All right. Our focus scripture, Genesis chapter 3, verse 8. They heard the sound of the Lord, God, walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and, man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. God has given us a title this day, In His Presence. Amen. Let's go to God in prayer. Most gracious and all wise God, creator of heaven and earth, Lord, we come before your throne right now thanking you, Father God, because you. you are God. Mm -hmm. you, you are God. And Thank beside you. you, there is none other. Lord, you love us so much. You loved yes. us from the foundation of the world. Hallelujah. You loved us before you even formed us in our mother's womb. Father, yes. we just love you in return, and we thank love you, you knowing that yes. we can never love you more than you love us. But yes. Father God, just knowing that you love us, woo mm. that you thank come you. and you see about us. You are mm. El Roy. You come and see mm. about us. Father God, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us, not one day of our lives. So no matter what comes and no matter what goes, you said you would never leave us nor forsake us. And thank so, you. Father God, I thank you right now. I thank you right now that you wrap me in your loving arms. Hallelujah. Father thank God, you. I thank you that you decrease Shari. Actually, I ask you right now to remove Shari out of the way and her feeble yeah. body Father God, her, her trembling voice, Father God, move it all out of the way so that you and your spirit come forth. Father God, I thank you right now that your word will go forth. Hallelujah. Because you are God. And again, beside you, there is none other. And so, Father God, we say we love you. Father God, we say we thank you. Father God, right now, I surrender to your will and to your way. Father God, yeah. as you touch hearts and minds all over this place, hallelujah, yeah. meaning this entire world, Lord, I thank you right now in your precious son, Jesus' name, amen. Yeah. Amen, amen. In his amen. presence. Mm -hmm. In his presence, there is intimacy. See, mm. in the beginning, God made man and woman to have intimate relationship with himself. Amen. Our okay. love and joy is to be in the presence of God, Amen. which is God making himself known unto us mm. and coming face to face with his people. 
Adam and Eve, they had this direct relationship. They Amen. had this intimacy. Mm -hmm. Yet they chose instead the presence of sin as opposed to the presence of God. Mm. And ever since Adam and Eve hid themselves, yeah, they hid themselves after they sinned. That's what mm. Genesis 3 and 8 is all about. Sin separated mankind from God. It mm -hmm. wasn't that God, the, the sin, that shame of sin that Adam and Eve had made them flee from the presence of God. Whereas Amen. God, he, it didn't take him by surprise. He was in the garden. He was looking for them. Mm -hmm. Although he already knew where they were. He knew not only where they were physically, he knew where they were spiritually. Amen. Mm. Now, in the Old Testament, examples of God's presence are the burning bush. You can find that in Exodus chapter 3. Also in Exodus chapter 40, there is the cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night. Both of these are God's presence. God, he doesn't leave us how he finds us. Woo. He found us in sin. He found us shaped in iniquity. But don't you know, although Adam and Eve sinned, he still never really left us. Somebody ought to get this. In John chapter 1, St. John, over in the New Testament, and I'm reading from the New Living Translation, chapter 14 says, So the Word became human and made his home among us. And I know the King James, it says, The Word became flesh and dwelled among us. Amen. He was full of unfailing love and faithfulness. And we have seen his glory, the glory of the Father's one and only Son. You see, throughout the Bible, the Holy Spirit revealed the presence of God. His Spirit performs that same work, that same wonder work in us today. Let us turn, though, to the Old Testament scripture. Go to Exodus chapter 33. Now, we're going to read this because it's good. And it's good, good. All Amen. right, we're going to start at the very first verse of Exodus chapter 33. Amen. And you have it say, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord said to Moses, get going. You and the people you brought up from the land of Egypt, go up to the land I swore to give Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I told them, I will give this land to your descendants, and I will send an angel before you to drive out the Canaanites, the Amorites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, and the Jebusites. Hold on right there. All of those ites are all of those sins that we are so easily entangled with today. Verse 3, go up to this land that flows with milk and honey. But I will not travel among you, for you are a stubborn and rebellious people. If I did, I would surely destroy you along the way. Here is God telling Moses that if he is with the people, that he would destroy them because they are basically sinners. Verse 4, when the people heard these stern words, they went into mourning and stop wearing their jewelry and fine clothes. For the Lord had told Moses to tell them, you are a stubborn and rebellious people. If I were to travel with you for even a moment, I would destroy you, remove your jewelry, and fine clothes while I decide what to do with you. So from the time they left Mount Sinai, the Israelites wore no more jewelry, or find clothes. It was Moses' practice to take the tent of meeting and set it up some distance from the camp. Everyone who wanted to make a request of the Lord would go to the tent of meeting outside the camp. Because remember, God said he couldn't be with them. He had to be on the outside of the camp. Hallelujah. 
whenever Moses went out of the tent of meeting, all the people uh-huh. would, would get up and stand at the entrances of their own tents. They would all watch Moses until he disappeared inside. As he went into the tent, the pillar of cloud would come down and hover at the entrance while the Lord spoke with Moses. When the people saw the cloud standing at the entrance of the tent, they would stand and bow down. Mm. We ought to learn to bow down in front of their own tents. But we are to bow down to God and God alone. Verse 11. Inside the tent of meeting, the Lord would speak to Moses face to face as one speaks to a friend. Afterward, Moses would return to the camp. But the young man who assisted him, his name Joshua, son of Nun, would remain behind in the tent of meeting. One day, verse 12, Moses said to the Lord, you have been telling me, take these people up to the promised land, but you haven't told me whom you will send with me. You have told me, I know you by name, and I look favorably on you. If it is true that you look favorably on me, let me know your ways so I may understand you more fully and continue to enjoy your favor. And remember that this nation is your very own people. (laughs) Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Continuing on. Because there's a whole lot we can unpack with this. But let's stay the course. Verse 14. The Lord replied, I will personally, somebody ought to shout I will personally go with you Moses and I will give you rest everything will be fine with you somebody ought to be taking a lap right now hallelujah worshiping and praising God shouting right now because God will personally go with you when he knows your name when you have been face to face with God right now when you're in his word you're face to face with God this is just like God speaking to you. You should never count it as robbery when we're mm. reading the word of God because it's him face to face mm. with you. Mm. Jesus. Mm. Then Moses said, if you don't personally go with us, don't make us leave this place. Mm. How will anyone know that you are that you look favorably on me, on mm. me and on your people? If you don't go with us, for your presence among us Mm. sets your people and me apart from all other people on the earth. Mm. Don't you see how important his presence is? It sets us apart. Nobody else can say that their God is alive. Nobody else can say that their God is with them. Hallelujah. They might Mm. do some things to their God or for their God, but they don't have a personal intimate relationship. They don't get in the presence of their God who is living and true. Hallelujah. Right now we have a living and true God. He is waiting on us. Hallelujah. He is looking favorably on us. When we mm-hmm. get in his face, when we get in his presence, hallelujah, there is okay. life, hallelujah. Yeah. Moses responded. Mm. No, verse 17, the Lord replied to Moses, I will indeed do what you have asked. Ain't that yeah. beautiful? We can stop right yeah. here. God said, <laughs> the Lord replied to Moses at his request, I will indeed do what you have asked, for I yeah. look favorably on you. And Mm. I know you by name. Isn't Mm. it a beautiful thing? God to know you by name. Mm. That you can ask God anything. (laughs) You can get in his face. And you can ask him. And he knows you by name. That he says I look. You have the favor of God. You have Mm. my favor on you. Because now you have gotten into my face. You have gotten into my presence. And now I know you by name. Mm. Praise God. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. That's all right. Moses responded, then mm. show me your glorious presence. Mm. <laughs> That's what Moses wanted. Moses wanted his presence. He yeah. wasn't seeking for gold. 
He wasn't seeking fame. He wasn't seeking some kind of fortune or a mansion on a hill. He just wanted his presence. Yes, thank you. In his presence. Woo. That's what it is that we want today. That's right. Woo. His presence. He said, show me your glorious presence. Yes. Now, he had the cloud and he had the pillar of fire. But Moses is seeking more. He wants to know him intimately. He doesn't want him on the outside of the of the of the camp. He wants him on the inside. He Amen. wants to know him more intimately, more Amen. personally. Woo. The Lord replied, verse 19, I will Amen. make all my goodness pass before you. Amen. And I will call out, I will call out my name. God is saying he's gonna call out his own name. Amen. Yahweh. Yahweh is his name. It means I am. I am. Hallelujah. Before you. For I will show mercy to anyone I choose. And yes. I will show compassion to anyone I choose. But you That's may great. not look directly at my face. For no one may see me and live. The Lord Amen. continued. Hallelujah. So <laughs> we got to get in his presence. You can be in somebody's presence and actually not be in their face. Woo. You can be in somebody's face and not be in their presence. God is seeking us to be in his presence. Woo. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 20. But you may not look directly at my face, for no one may see me and live. The Lord continued, look, stand near me on this rock. And my glorious presence, as my glorious presence passes by, I will hide you in the crevice of the rock and cover you with my hand until I have passed by. Woo, just to be in his presence. Hide me in the rock, Lord. Put me in the crevice so that we can be near you. Hallelujah. Verse 23, then I will remove my hand and let you see me from behind. But my face will not be seen. Mm -hmm. Moses, he, see, Moses understood the importance of God's presence. Mm -hmm. There Amen. is right. nothing we can do without his presence. If we right. do it without his presence, whoo, mm -hmm. it ain't of him. Amen. And it won't last. Mm -hmm. Moses had experienced the presence of God firsthand. He knew that there is nothing like it. The tabernacle is the dwelling place of God. Amen. We find intimacy in the tabernacle. You see, mm -hmm. after he had the tent of meeting on the outside of the camp, God, he actually had them to put the tabernacle right in the center of the camp. But that's Amen. another teaching for another day. Amen. Hallelujah. Don't we know this? First of all, let me just let me say this. Get sexual intimacy out of your mind. Amen. When we talk about intimacy, God, he created intimacy. Mm. And Amen. it involves closeness. Yeah. Familiarity. That's right. And with God is spiritual connectedness. Mm. We yeah. have to be connected with the That's Holy true. Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. So that we have this intimate relationship yes. with Thank God. Mm -hmm. The yes, relationship right. you have with God supersedes any and all other yes, relationships right. that mm. you may That's experience. Right. In mm. fact, the other relationships you experience are based upon how deep and how mm. close and how secure your relationship with God is. And that's yeah. where I want to throw in a selah. That means, yeah, <laughs> yeah a selah where you pause and reflect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. While Moses was on Mount Sinai, mm -hmm. we often think about only the Ten Commandments were given to Moses. However, mm -hmm. God gave Moses much more. God yes, wants right. to dwell with his people. Mm -hmm. And so he gave Moses instructions on how to construct the tabernacle. Mm -hmm. As the children of Israel traveled in the wilderness, God showed his presence. As we talked about, by the pillar of fire by day, or by night, and cloud by day. Woo! His presence was there all along. His right. presence was there mm -hmm. the whole time. Amen. He was right there. As God freed them from 
from bondage, from slavery, and from the cruelty of Pharaoh. God never left them, nor did he ever turn his back on them. As they traveled in the wilderness, God met Moses on Mount Sinai. Now let's go to Exodus chapter 25. I know we were over in 33, but let's back up to chapter 25. Amen. Amen. And we're going to read a few verses from there, and then we're going to put it all together. Hallelujah. By the aid of the Holy Ghost. Exodus 25 verse 1. The Lord said to Moses, tell the people of Israel to bring me their sacred offering. Accept the contributions from all whose hearts are moved to offer them. See, he didn't, he wasn't begging. He didn't say, oh, can I get 10 of you? Or can I get five of you to give $500? Can I get, he said, for all whose hearts are moved to offer them. That's Verse right. eight. Have the people of Israel build me a holy sanctuary so I can live among them. So wait a minute. God said in verse 8, have the people of Israel build me a holy sanctuary so I can live among them. But over in 33, we know that God was saying, wait a minute, I don't even want to be around them because if I get near them, I'm going to kill them. I'll destroy them. So what happened between Exodus 25 and Exodus 33? <laughs> Exodus 32 <laughs> is what happened. And so Exodus 32 shows the sin of the Israelites. Yeah. Moses had been on Mount Sinai with God for 40 days, and they couldn't wait any longer. So they yeah. built a fox god in the form of a golden calf. And they sinned against God who brought them up out of Egypt, out of their slavery, out of their bondage. So they already, within 40 days, they're saying, oh, we're not thinking about this guy. We're going to, well, we'll build this and we'll honor him by um, now looking at these pagan gods. God is a jealous God. He wants that intimate relationship with us. When we're in his presence, he doesn't want us thinking about another. When we're in his presence, we cannot be worshiping another. We actually can't get into his presence if any of those are true. God right. cannot dwell where there is sin. That's David, right. after he had sinned with Bathsheba in Psalm 51 and 11 around there, do not cast me away from your presence. Now, this was before he said, but or before he said this, he said, Create in me a clean heart, oh God, and renew Amen. your right spirit within me. Do Amen. not cast me away from your mm. presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Amen. In Amen. his presence is where we need to be. In Amen. order to be in his presence, we must want to be in his presence. Somebody Amen. ought to hear that. In order to be in his presence, we got to want. We must want to be in his presence. Right. We yeah. must repent of sin. God is Amen. not going to force himself on us. That's he right. is not going to force us into his presence. He Amen. is gentle as a breeze. Hallelujah. And loving as a songbird. As mm. God had me writing this, he was showing me the breeze on the trees and the, mm. can hear the, the birds singing. He mm. is as gentle and as loving. He moves like the ripples, hallelujah, on water and melts into your heart when you open it to him. There Amen. is nothing like his presence. His presence is indescribable. Mm. Mm. All you got to do is want to be in it, and he will bring his presence to you. God you. realized, though, that the system that he set up could never take away all of our sins. No matter right. how many bulls or goats or anything else. Mm. So he sent the perfect sacrifice. Mm. His only begotten son. His Amen. son, Jesus the Christ. As spoken by the prophet Isaiah in chapter 7, verse 14. All right then. The Lord himself will give you a sign. He's talking to David. To the children of David. The descendants of David. Look. The virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and will call him a man.
Emmanuel. We'll call him Emmanuel. We'll call him Emmanuel, which means God with us in his presence, in his presence, in his presence. We can't get enough of his presence. So as we look at Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 and 12, it reads, So Christ has now become the high priest. You know, Emmanuel, that son of Mary, the only begotten son of God, hallelujah, the bright morning star. He is now, hallelujah. So Christ has now become the high priest, high priest. over all the good things that have come. He has entered that greater, more perfect tabernacle in heaven. Remember the tabernacle in the wilderness? They had him going around, and they would take it up. They tear it down. They bring it back up wherever God said stop. Then the, the Levites would rebuild it again, put it back together, and then they take it back down. But God, hallelujah, with his good self has given us Jesus as our high priest. Yes, thank He you. has entered the greater, more mm. perfect tabernacle in yeah. heaven, which yeah. was not made by human hands mm. Mm. and is not part of this created world. With his own blood, verse 12, not the blood of goats and calves, he entered yeah. the most holy place That's once right. for all time and secured our redemption. God is no longer in a tabernacle building. He right. is in your heart. Your heart is now that tabernacle yeah. Woo, that dwells with man. Right now, God is dwelling in your heart. If you are let him in, in right. his presence, remember he was there all along. He was there with Adam and Eve walking in the garden in the yeah. cool of the day, ready yeah. to fellowship. Ready to have intimate relationship with Adam and Eve. Hallelujah. Now God himself, he is walking, hallelujah, in this earth. He is now can be in your heart. All you got to do is accept him. That's right. Mm. Mm. Thank After you. Pentecost, mm. Holy Spirit was poured out. And Amen. on one single day, mm. Peter preached. 3,000 souls were saved Amen. from the penalty of sin, mm. which is hell. That mm -hmm. lets us know over in, I think, 2 Corinthians, it, it tells us that we really, when we are separated for God, from God for all of eternity, mm. that means we're out of his presence. Yeah. That means we are in hell. Mm. That is what hell is. When we're cast into utter darkness, mm. when we're in turmoil, yeah. night and day, for mm -hmm. all of eternity. That's yeah. why it's so important right now. Mm. While the blood is still running warm in our veins, right. mm. while breath is still in our bodies, yeah. that we share Jesus with everybody. And That's that right. we accept Jesus woo, mm. first and foremost for mm. ourselves. And then share him. Mm. Share him with everybody. Let's go yeah. to Peter's sermon. Acts 2.2.2. 2, 2, 2. Mm. You can remember that. Second chapter, the 22nd verse. People of Israel, listen. New Living Translation. God publicly endorsed Jesus, the Nazarene, by doing powerful miracles, wonders, and signs through him. As you well know. But God knew what would happen, and his prearranged plan was carried out when Jesus was betrayed. With the help of lawless Gentiles, you nailed him to a cross and killed him. This is Peter preaching. But God released him from the horrors of death and raised him back to life, for death could not keep him in its grip. King David said this about him. I see the Lord is always with me. This is David in his presence. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. Again, he's saying, in his presence. No wonder my heart is glad, and my tongue shouts his praises. My body rests in hope, for you will not leave my soul among the dead, or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You have shown me the way of life, 
and you will fill me with the joy of your presence. Mm. Dear brothers and sisters, wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to that one more time. Verse 28. You have shown me the way of life mm. and you will fill me with the joy of your presence Amen. today. Don't you want to be filled with the joy of his presence? Yes. Dear brothers, yes. verse 29, think about this. This is Peter preaching. He says, you can be sure that the patriarch David wasn't referring to himself. Now, see, these were Jews, and they knew about David. And so they said, he said, he wasn't preaching or referring to himself. For he died and was buried, and his tomb is still here among us. Mm. Verse 30, though. But he was a prophet, and he knew God had promised with an oath that one of David's own descendants mm, mm. would sit on his throne. Remember, mm. here was that Isaiah the prophet, he told the descendants of David that Jesus would come. Mm. Amen. Verse 31, David was looking into the future and speaking of the Messiah's resurrection. He was saying that God would not leave him among the dead or allow his body to rot in the grave mm. verse 32 god raised jesus from the dead and Amen. we are all witnesses of this now he is exalted to the place of highest honor in mm. heaven at god's right hand and the father as he has promised gave him the holy spirit to pour out upon us just mm. as you see and hear today for David himself never ascended into heaven. Yet he said, the Lord said to my Lord, sit in the place of honor at my right hand until I humble your enemies, making them a footstool under your feet. Don't you know that God, he's saying, all we have to do is humble ourselves Amen. in his mighty right. presence and he will exalt us, hallelujah, in his time. Verse 36. So let everyone in Israel know for certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, to be both Lord and Messiah. Amen. These words pierced their hearts. Mm. The words of Peter, the Holy Spirit, pierced their hearts. Mm. And they asked, what do we need to do? And you may be asking that same question today. What do we need to do? Need to do. And the answer is repent, repent, mm. repent, mm. repent. Mm. And in the same way, I tell you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God yeah. over mm. one sinner who repents, Luke 15 mm. and 10. That is, repent is to just turn. You're going in one direction mm. and then you're turning and you're mm. going in a totally opposite direction direction Amen. it doesn't Amen. mean you turn all the way back around and you keep going Amen. in the same direction that's right no that's no right. no that turning is what adam and eve was missing mm. that turning is what the children of israel were missing they're trying to build up cats that turning is what the those who actually crucified our lord and savior jesus the christ what they were missing that mm. Turning is yeah. what we're missing today until we surrender to God, until right. we say, Lord, take me. Lord, right. I am yours. Right. I want to be in your presence. It reminds me of Mary Magdalene. Mary right. Magdalene has seven demons. Seven is that number of perfection. She had perfectly settled in demons. And so here it is, God, who is perfection himself cast out all of those demons and from Amen. that point on mary magdalene she followed jesus for the rest of his earthly ministry Amen. and then she followed him all of her life and now we know the story because we just went through the resurrection hallelujah story of our lord and savior jesus christ okay. who is still yet alive and showed himself to mary magdalene first it's because here it is she wanted to be in his presence she was seeking his presence she wasn't yeah. seeking after what he could do for her it was all what he had already done he had yeah. already saved her she was already released from bondage 
she yeah. was already released from that torture that she was going through. And so God is saying to us today, repent. Therefore, repent and return so that your sins may be wiped away, Acts 3.19. In order that the times of refreshing mm. may come in the presence of the Lord. Don't Amen. you know that the word of the Lord, it is true. It's yes, sharper Lord. than any two-edged sword. It's going to mm. cut not only between that bone and that marrow. It's mm. going to cut the very heart of you so that your heart is opened up. So you're reset to mm. be in his presence. Amen. Is there one mm. today? Is there one today who is ready to be in the presence of the Lord? Mm. You say, I just can't wait. I don't want there to be any other place for me to be. I want to be in his presence. Mm. I want to be in the presence of the Lord. I Amen. want God more than I want anything. That's right. Hallelujah. And when you oh, want oh. him more than anything, mm. you will have him for all of eternity. Amen. He will never leave. Amen. He will Amen. never forsake. Amen. Even in the garden, he Amen. never left. In the Amen. garden, hallelujah, he didn't Amen. turn his back on them. Where have you been? Mm. <laughs> Where have you been? You. He's waiting for you. Amen. If you've left your first love, he's asking, Amen. where have you been? Yeah. Come back. Come back. You have this great opportunity now. If God is knocking on your heart, and I know he is, saying, come into my presence, say these words with me and mean them from your heart. Dear God, I am a sinner in need of a Savior. Lord, come into my heart. Cleanse me. I ask you to forgive me of everything that I've done and keep me in your presence. Lord, I love you. And now I make you not only my savior, but you are my Lord. In your precious sons, in your precious name, Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you Amen. just said that, that prayer with me and you meant it from your heart, God, he heard you, and now you are saved. Hallelujah. It's you, just Jesus. that simple. He has already done it. He is our high priest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we thank God. There are angels who are praising God right now. They are worshiping in heaven because of you. And so we are also. Now, God, he has something for you to do. And that is now get into a great Bible teaching. Bible teaching, Bible believing, Bible teaching church, where you Amen. can carry out the principles of God's word. Hallelujah. Every day of your life Amen. and remain in his presence, in his presence, in his presence, there Amen. is joy. Hallelujah. Unspeakable joy and life forevermore. Amen. 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 God. We just love you. And Father, yeah. if you go with me in prayer, Lord, we love you. And we just thank you right now for thank your you. abundant blessings that you bestow upon us. Yeah. And those abundant blessings are Jesus Christ, the mm -hmm. word, Jesus Christ, our healing, Jesus yeah. Christ, yeah. our peace, Jesus yeah. Christ, our everything. Lord, we just thank you right now for all those benefits that you just continue to chase us down with and overtake us. And so, Father God, we thank you for that one who gave their life. Father yeah. God, we thank you right now. We ask you to put a hedge of protection around them. Lord, yeah. let them know that they are not alone, that yeah. all they have to do is reach out to us. All yeah. we are is a phone call, a text, or an yeah. yeah. email away, Father God. We just thank you right now that there is no distance in prayer. There is no distance in your body, and that yeah. we are one. Lord, we thank just you. thank you right now. Thank and Lord, you. for our bereaved family. Lord, we ask you right now to comfort them. Lord, comfort like only you can comfort. Yeah, Lord, yeah. we can give words. 
Lord, we can be silent and listen, but Father God, you are the one. You yes. are the great I am. Yes, yes. <laughs> and as you are I am, you are everything. And yes. so, Father God, comfort them. Comfort those who mourn, and they will be comforted. Lord, yes. we just thank you right now. We thank, thank you, you for thank everyone you. who listens, everyone thank who tunes in. Father God, everyone who wants to, but for whatever reason cannot, Lord, continue to bless. That's Father amazing. God, continue to heal. Father Thank God, you. continue to set free. And yeah. Lord, yeah. as we're yeah. in these last and evil yeah. days, Lord, we yeah. ask you to give us boldness, boldness yeah. of speech. Father yeah. God, boldness of your word, boldness yeah. of who you are, filled yeah. up with your spirit, full yeah. of joy. And there's yeah. that pleasure forevermore. Yeah. Lord, we yes. love you and we thank you now. You. In thank Jesus' you. name. Jesus name. Jesus and name. now let's look to the Lord and be dismissed. Amen. The grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us now and forever. And the church said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank now, Lord. stay with Hallelujah. the Lord Jesus Christ. And from Amen. our hearts to Amen. yours, we love Amen. you.